TLO, what's poppin'? Oh, snap. We are on Twitch. We are live. And by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen. Probably won't need it, but it's there. Switch.com is where you can catch the live screens. Usernames on the bottom of the screen. And we also... We got Patreon. We post five to seven times. No, no, no. I'm tweaking. We post seven times a week. Almost ten times because we put Premier League highlights on there. That's some of my favorite stuff to react to. Uh, this is Wendell. Congratulations on hitting the 100k subs, man. The goal and dream of mine. It might take some time, but uh, it'll happen. Uh, inside London's notorious Jamaican hood. Welcome to Brixton. <laughs> copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Why am I filming? Why are you filming? I'm filming everyone having a good time. You sure? Yeah, for my vlog, yeah. Are You'll you see it. What's, what's that, mate? Are you a police officer? Not at all. Do I look yes, like a police officer? Never know. I've got a good one. He's with me. I have my YouTube. You it's all good, mate. You. Yeah. Oh. I'm filming the wonderful community. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, window got pressed. That was the quickest press I've ever seen. Jamaican community nice. here in Brixton. Yeah. And honestly, the people have been amazing today. They've been so welcoming. So, right. my friend, Bless trust you. me, I'm quite the opposite of the police. Yeah, Bless to you, mate. <laughs> How are you, mate? Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You live in Brixton, do you? Yeah. Yeah, how's things? How's, how's life in Brixton 2024? We ain't rioting. We're living. Yeah. We're not yeah. rioting in our streets. Or... Very few places like this in the UK. I love it, man. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy, man. Respect, my Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. In 1981, on this very street in Brixton, a series of clashes known as the Brixton Uprisings occurred. Amidst high racial tensions, high unemployment. You out here, Dolo? It's not nighttime, you cool. Employment amongst the black population of the area, and amongst stop and search tactics by police, and the tragic deaths of 13 black youths in a house fire at a party that remain unsolved to this day. Friction turned. Into a Wait, when did that happen? Wait a minute, is there a documentary on it? Unrest and the tension spilled over. The legacy of the unrest is unforgettable but unfortunate. Home to a large Jamaican community, resulting from the Windrush generation in the late 1940s onwards, Brixton is a place like no other. Once a crime riddled and troubled neighbourhood, Brixton has now undergone some redevelopment, but is it still a dangerous place to walk around the estate with a camera? Some locals say its true Jamaican heart has been dispersed, but we'll see about that. Welcome to Brixton, London's infamous Jamaican hood. You see up here now? Yeah. Up this was the front line. Up this is up here so we used to sell the whole of the pork and crack. This was, oh, okay, yeah. So this is the real front line where you never talk about front line. So so was so was this like a real This front line, this is where it all used to go down, huh? Really dangerous place back in yeah, the 80s, you, you 80s, 90s. You couldn't come on here when you came out with the fire yeah. and beat you. Yeah. So you say this was the Atlantic <laughs> pub road up. <laughs> Hey, what they say, what they used to do? Take, take it away. Yeah. They hit him with a double duo? So you say this was the Atlantic pub roadhouse? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this pub was a very dangerous, famous pub. This pub, I spent five years in prison for it. Really? Yeah. A lot of, did a lot of the community from back yeah, in the day end but, up in prison? Yeah, but the operation, they call them Operation Catabatic. Okay, spoke, kick yeah. a batty. Kick a batty. What, so do you think that, like, that was when um, like, the Jamaican community was being the bad, like, the bad. targeted yeah, by yeah, the police? Yeah. There's a lot of talk at the moment about origin and identity. A lot of people have got a lot of opinions on the topic. But do you really know how British you really are? I think I know who I am, but I'm not sure. And that's why I've partnered with today's sponsors, My Heritage for the... This is a W. This is a W. I actually did a My Heritage. 
Congratulations. I know you got to pay the bills. My heritage, if you want to give me one, go ahead. I had a great time. No, it's so, without a good for free shipping. It's all messed up. It's all fucked up. No, it's so, without a good Jamaican community. You had, yeah. um, we had um, clubs so here. It was a like you said, line, you know? barbers. We had music shop, everything. Basically. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So where have the Jamaican people gone now? Where's the community gone? Is it dispersed? It looks like... They're in the community. Some of them dead out, some gone in a prison. Yeah. And what it look, my mind is, some of them is a Jamaican community. So if you go right now, that biggest state is a Jamaican community. Okay. What's that state called? Is it, it Summer Later? Summer Later. Yeah. They call it the prison block. You think I'll be all right wandering around there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people are friendly, yeah. And, and see that this is a Jamaican you know, shop where them sell Jamaican products. Yeah. And so this market had it full up of Jamaican stuff. It's no more. How long bro been here? It's only like this lady alone left. Okay. <laughs> see how yeah? Okay, so Esme's all, so Esme. she got the produce. Yeah, yeah. so all of them are Jamaican produce. Yeah. Jamaican, yes, Jamaican. So what we got here, these are like mangoes. Yeah, avocado. Pears. Yeah, avocado, sorry, yeah. Jamaican, yam. Yams, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, pumpkin, like, you know, and ginger, I think, and yeah. 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 And then water coconut and them thing there. Yeah. They bought them and kind of dry coconut, scotch bonnet. Oh, amazing. Pepper. Yeah, so our scotch, the are like brutally hot, aren't they? Scotch, scotch bonnet, man. You need that for cooking. You gotta cook a lot of stuff with that. Bonnet, yeah, like. that's a scotch bonnet, yeah. In here, you're supposed to be full of life, so now it's coming like a tourist hub. So, here's what are the crack, what are the, what are the crack and the coke used to sell? We All down the street, yeah. Yeah. And this local street, I that's when I was in local vining street. Yeah. So, our oh, street as well. So, all these places used to run by Jamaican people. So, so you're probably about my age. Man, this, that's what happens when gentrification comes in. Once the once the land figures out that money is to be made. Hey, Junker, how old are you? I'm 41. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. 60 year old. Do you believe that? 60. No, we believe it. <laughs> Man, be smoking good ganja. Keep you young. Yeah. I don't believe that. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. You look way younger. Yeah, but, you so you must so, remember as a teenager. Yeah, you so must remember the, the rights. My, my, yeah, my, my wife born here. You know. yeah. She born here. So that is Kelly through in Kelly through and all these roads. So all these roads the front line, straight front line, go straight up to the top. So if, if, if you come to Brooks and you don't come on the front line, you don't know this, but yeah. no more jokes sell here no more. So this this is what yeah. this is really what the black people got out of the market. It's a lot of hair shops and what do you mean by like what the black people got? Like what was left? This is all they got left. Yeah. yeah. There's always was left. Barber shops, beauty salons. Uh, I wanted to say liquor stores, but they're not even run by black communities. In every hood, in every hood that used to be fully black, it's the only thing left is that barber shop and them salons. I'm trying to figure out like, what else be. That's it. I ain't gonna lie. Can we have a walk through quickly? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like we said, we used, um, the other markets that you went yeah, into, they they there. used to be um, full of black people. And now you see that they're a lot of foreigners. This is my hairdresser. Okay. This lady does all black people's hair. Yeah. She specializes in locks. And a white man over there. <laughs> what's, what's a white man doing in a black woman's hair shop? His head is getting right. He know what the procedures is. If, if he want a certain style, he, he got a hair to the... You know. So that, that road, that thing is Bob Marley right now. Yeah. And one day the train parked there and everybody down here making money. Barbershop, I never know see the train went up. There is speed police in the train. Really? And they just jump over and raid the whole line. Yeah. Take everybody to jail. So how many people would have been able to raid it? people. people. people went to jail. Yeah. But from, the, from I went to jail for, the, for that place, Brixton Finish. Yeah. From I went to prison for the Atlantic. Yeah. Brixton Finish. Yeah, so there was a lot so like you could buy anything you wanted in that pub and they targeted it and they knew yeah. it was a place to come and grab people and Yeah, you know what well, it well, well, it was an operation was going on for about so maybe about six months. Nineteen ninety two I think. Ninety two, yeah. 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 I sell joy chicken every day. Do you yeah? In Waterloo. We then near the train you, station between Waterloo Road and Bailey's Road. Because we got Jamaica 
Independence. Yeah. Tomorrow is Jamaica and Independence. When? Tomorrow is Jamaica. Tomorrow? Yeah. I'm definitely coming. So we're going to dress up our place. So this Brixton is, Village, so this is the yeah. old market. Yeah, this is the original market, but it all changed. So this is the big estate over there, Summer Later. Yeah, yeah. We call it the prison block back in the days. We call it the prison block. Yeah, what because most people ended up in jail from there or because no. it, it resembles a prison? It resembles a prison. Okay, I've got to check that out. Some people told me before I came here, obviously you were saying you were, that um, Brixton was really dangerous back in the day. Yeah, they yeah. say that it's still dangerous no, now. No, no, no. You no. think it's a pretty safe place now? No, man, there's all these white people who come here and like Yeah. Okay, funny. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't <laughs> have done you, this you, 20 years ago. You, you couldn't walk in with the camera, you take your camera from me and beat you, but everybody think you was police. Yeah, of course, yeah. You yeah. know, so, so you must know Brixton Church. Come. Yeah. So now we're going to do some shopping, you know, some Jamaican shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll show you, and we start when I said, no. So uh, these products, this bread in, from Jamaica. So giant bread is imported from Jamaica? Jamaica, look, Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. <laughs> See, over here, Jamaica. See, Jamaica, yeah? Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. See, when you come to these places, you come to buy Jamaican stuff. So, all these are Jamaican stuff. We're in Fasca. So, yes, so every product you want, you come to Jamaican stuff. Gotta look over here. Yeah. Okay. We're in Fasca. So, yes, so every product you want, you come in Brixton, it's Brixton of all Jamaican stuff. Were you born here or were you born no, in Jamaica? No, I was born in Jamaica. But so, I, so how old were you when you came over? I was just a kid when I came over. Yeah. Yeah. Even my accent no change. Mackerel. And yeah. I'm going to let you know, a lot of Jamaicans' accents, like the older Jamaican, they, 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 it won't change. I don't know. <laughs> they literally moved here and all their mom and dad hung around was Jamaican people. So like the older Jamaican, the older generations, like your moms and your dads, they still got heavy Jamaican accents, even though they've been here 40, 50 years. <laughs> Salted, yeah? Yeah, they're big mackerel, man. Yeah, this one, Jamaican people eat it. This is a dried fish, you call it red arena. So what would you do with a dried fish? Chop but, it up, put no, it in soups and but, stuff? Or? What me do now, I put, I get up, I light a piece of paper and burn it yeah. and strip it and eat it with this. Okay. The, the crackers. So what's this stuff as well? Oh, that's it's salt, salt, salt fish. That's salt, salt fish. cod fish. We salt cod. Yeah, we cook it with this. When you make it, we have to I don't give a f I don't like it. It ain't for everybody. It's cool though, but it ain't. I every day for breakfast. Nah, you got me. Nah, I'm good. Can you hold that while I open this? Give yeah, it a man. taste test. Yeah, man. Give it a taste test, boy. So this is bigger fruit punch from Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. Original. You and remember this when you were a kid? Yeah, and it's only in Brookston again. All right. We get it. You're in the video. And get it. Original. Yeah. And these are my boys. That's right. wild. Yes, sir. That is full of flavor. Respect. <laughs> Probably sugary. I don't know if the recipe's changed, but it. Man. What are you I'm, making here? I'm a chef. I'm a chef. Yeah. And what do you make? Soups? Make some nice soup. Rice and peas, steamed veg. Yeah, yeah. Curry goat, oxtail, pepper steak. Bebone, cold fish, there's so much different things. Well, you know, I'm, I've been here, I've been here about four years now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah. okay, it's alright. Yeah, yeah. So Grab something, Wendell. Get some rice and peas, some cabbage, and uh, curry. Curry goat, though. Everybody get chicken, get goat. Say, I want to see myself on TV. Yeah, I'm going to get you on TV. Yeah, we're going to get more people visiting, yeah. Yeah, it's electric, it's electric. Oh, so, no, so, no, so no. how do the like, council treat you with the rents and things yeah, like that? Is no, it high no, rent? Or? It's a bit, it's alright. Yeah. It could be worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just have to give thanks, you know what I mean? And how many meals would you sell a day? Well, you know, I, I can't. I give thanks to Cha. I never check it how much meal I sell for the day, but I do I sell quite a few. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. The smells are amazing. I've got spices, yeah, coconuts coming out. If you're doing chicken soup, I could give you a free taste right now. The best I'll, have a, taste. I'll have a taste now. Yeah, and sure. then look at, look later on, I'm going to come back and get some. Yeah, sweet. Small yeah. One, yeah? So, what flavour is this? Uh, just chicken soup. Chicken soup, wow. I don't want it to burn you. Okay, it does feel hot. I've got insurance though, I don't want it to burn you. Oh, I won't sue you, mate, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. It's all on camera, I've said I won't okay. sue you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir, you're gonna get one more. Oh, that is. Wendell, you wildin'. You ain't gonna blow it or nothing first. You gotta. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's really good. Best, that is so flavorful. This is the best you gotta, you gotta taste. Yeah. This is one of the best. And look. Oh my god. Everything is found. You got patties? You got beef patty or no? 
Scotch. That's one of the most. I can see. I'm gonna come round in a second, film all that. It's the most intense chicken soup flavour I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> so everything's from scratch, yeah? Hold on, I'll show it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll show it to you. Everything is from scratch, man. Look, I cook from scratch with everything. So let it season them. You're prepping all that in here as well, in the tent? Yeah. That's a big ass. This is what I'd be saying. Like, I watched, a, I watched an episode of Kitchen Nightmare, and they had a Jamaican restaurant on there, and Shorty was not cooking it fresh. I was looking like, bro, this got to be nasty. I ain't never had no Jamaican food that wasn't from from scratch, from fresh. Like, I ain't, I'm not eating that. Probably tastes like Trader Joe food or something. I don't know what <laughs> yeah, man, I got some more pepper. Everything go from scratch, yeah, my brother. Scotch bonnets, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I got all the scotches on me. Yeah, everything go from scratch, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Who taught pepper. you to cook? Your mom? Well, my grandmother and God. Okay. And God, yeah. What a wonderful answer, yeah. Uh, you think you want to get a chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the cardboard, yeah? Oh, wow. This is the cardboard. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, I have, I have to wash the spoon. Sweet corn now, yeah. I have to wash the spoon. This is the steam veg. Yeah. yeah this is the Everything looks so fresh. fresh. Yeah, everything fresh cook here, man. Yeah. What an operation. Hold well, on, I have to, I have to wash the spoon again, make sure there's something more. This is the... Oxtail. Oxtail. This is the oxtail. Yeah, this is the oxtail. Oh, wow. Yeah. That should look so good. That should look good, man. <sighs> Who is this man? He deserves something. <laughs> when I come back in a bit, could you do like a sample of everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to try everything. Look, I'll show you this one now. This is the brown stew chicken. Wow. Stew chicken. Brown stew chicken. I used to order that all the time, man. But I used to... I, this before I really did, dug into like dark meat. So I would get white brown stew chicken or white meat. But now I would get it with... Just give me it. <laughs> Cause it hit better when it's dark meat. I ain't even gonna hold you. Chicken. With the flavor okay, smells. I wish yeah, I had I, smell of vision. It's yeah, like man, when it, when yeah. It, when it come to my shop, right? Huh? It's the real, it's the real stuff again. Do you come here a lot? Do you? Yeah. 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 Every Monday, that's the chicken soup. And do you live in Brixton? I work. In work in Brixton. Yeah. So today. She in big. She in Brixton for the vibe, dim. <laughs> Tomorrow, Prentice. Come see me tomorrow. 12, next show, 12, yeah? 12 o'clock. I really appreciate you showing me your area, mate. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then when you come tomorrow, come see me. We see lots more Jamaica. Sweet, mate. I remember we in the heart of the city, SE1, Central London. I got a picture. Come and see me. Yeah, thank, thank Dion for me as well, your no, wife. Brother, yeah. no flow You're a respect. legend, mate. And I'm a from there. Yeah. No flow. Keep safe. Brixton's quiet. You look at it yourself. It's good, isn't it? It's just, it's just everything's just alive. Yeah. You know, like. Everyone's got like a sense of identity. Everyone's hustling to make money. It's, yeah, it's cool. Been, you've seen the market. Right? Yeah, I've been through. Yeah, sample yeah. some of the food. You feel pretty safe as a young man. Yeah, yeah going yeah. about your business. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. me, even I'm originally from Peckham, isn't it? Yeah, so not back far in away. Back in the day, Peckham and Brixham used to have an issue. But... You taking a real chance? <laughs> no. Yeah, they used to be a yeah. bit of a beef, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. So I'm told, not yeah, that I would know. So that I was told as well. Yeah. But <laughs> You're all good now. I don't think you were beefing anyway. Nah, I was you got too many good age. vibes. Yeah. I'm too young now. Yeah. And that's all rubbish anyway. Yeah. So what's your story, mate? Um, I joined the army straight from school, 16 in 1980. I left school on a Friday, I was in uniform on Tuesday. I served 17 and a half years, had some mental health issues and they discharged me. Yep. Well, how long have you been in this situation now? Um, coming up 22 months, nearly two years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my mental health is recovering, it's not as it should be, yeah. it's recovering, but I feel so, I'm so angry that they should have treated me, they shouldn't have discharged me, they had a duty of care towards me, you know. Yeah. I've done everything they asked, and when I needed help, they just got rid of me, you know. Not back then, there was no, there was, they wasn't carrying no luggage, no extra baggage, everybody was replaceable, probably. Yeah. So what is your situation? Are you, are you homeless? Or yeah, I'm actually street homeless at the moment. Really, yeah. mate? Yeah. In Brixton? In Brixton, And yeah. how is that? Is it a dangerous place to be in that situation? It can be, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, about four months ago, I woke up with someone on the bottom of my sleeping bag, you know? Yeah. So when you got to contend with stuff like that, 
It's hard than I've been out here as it is without having. I can't even zip my sleeping bag up now because I have to get out quick. Yeah. Something happens, you want that you know? quick escape? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I just sleep with one eye open. You know? yeah. And it used to be what he used to call the front line back in the 80s. And you the told 90s. me about that, yeah. And it he said there was a lot horrendous. of selling on the streets. Yeah, and... it was blatant, you know, horrendous, you know. And now a lot of the homeless community, they use. The 80s was just a time, no matter where you was on earth, the 80s was the 80s. Drugs, uh, and I don't blame them, drugs and alcohol. For me, my reality is shit, but I prefer reality than a false reality, you know? So I don't use drugs, I haven't had a drink for 14 years. But, um, I don't know, really? I can see a little light at the end of the tunnel. So I was, that was where I was going to lead to, yeah, like, I can so, see so what's light the light? The because, because you've got a little bit of a light in your eyes, and I can feel it in the way okay, you're talking. Right. Like you. you you feel like there might be a way out of your situation? Yeah, I'm in touch with SAPRA at the moment. Who are they? SAPRA is a Soldiers, Sailors and Air Force Association. And they look after any veterans and their families. Yeah. So I'm as you should be looked after, a, mate. Yeah. As we should, yeah. yeah. The Ministry of Defence should have done this. But um, like I say, I'm on a list for accommodation. It might take another six months. Might a long take time. Six weeks. I, hope, I hope it takes six weeks. Yeah, because I Because you've got the winter course, coming. And, of course. Yeah. Done, you yeah. know, I really hope so. I've yeah. gone through one winter. I can go through another. You seem like you've the got a lot of... The only thing I can thank like the army for heart. is the training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. So, yeah, you've got that training from yeah, the courses. Yeah. My, my motto is onwards and upwards, always yeah. moving forwards. Yeah. What's so, your name, mate? Albert Lee. Albert Lee, yeah. My name's Wendell. Well, I get a load of Jamaican ladies come to me, you know, always give me food. They cook food at home, especially, and bring it out for me. Yeah, it makes me a bit emotional, you know. Yeah, because my own people don't do that for me. Yeah, so do you know what I mean? Yeah, they are my people. Honestly, folks, I go. Shout out to them, man. Holding it down. As you know, if you watch the channel, I go all around Britain making these videos, and the vibe, the the. Oh, the welcoming vibe and the just I'm from a heavily Jamaican community, man. Growing up, man, like north side of Chicago, I was in one of those pockets where everything was Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> <coughs> All my little cousins are Jamaican. Uh, it was just good. I used to love going to their house because they OG was Jamaican. It's crazy. Uh, but their dad name was is Prince, and that's my cousin. That's my dad's cousin. So it was good. It was a vibe. <laughs> the positivity and the open, big-heartedness of Brixton has surprised me and overwhelmed me. Um, Chicago is heavily Jamaican. Like not even just the pocket that I was in. It's everywhere. I'm gonna get Albert there some food. Um, he's waiting for someone. But the man can do. Salute to Albert, and I just want to make this, I'm a reaction channel, so I'll be reacting to the stuff I see in the background. This man right here, gotta let it go. It's gone. Listen, join me. It's okay. We get Albert there some food. Um, he's waiting for someone. But, the man can do with a good meal for sure. So, um, yeah, let's go back to my mate here in the market, whose name I never caught, and let's get Albert some food. I've met a homeless chap down there. Yeah. I want to get him some really nice food for, like, for a tenner. Can you do me just like a nice portion of food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can you yeah, can you sort that for me? Yeah. yeah. Nice one right now. Yeah. Nice. Right. We'll take, this is the bag. We steam it. Yeah. So I get it off of it. Nice Jamaican rice with a green pepper on the side. Eh? This is two chicken. I have to look after them and I respect for yeah, you Yeah, I, well. I just said to him, like, to you, it, you well. said you give food yeah, to man, people, give to portions, them. I give so to them. I give to them, man. if he's ever really I'm starving. I give to them, he knows, they know, they know. What's your name, mate? O'Neill. O'Neill? Yeah. Yeah, my name's Wendell. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, I give just to them, man. I don't mind, give to them. One of my Jamaican homies, his name Orville. This has got some crazy names. It's tough. I mean, I'm sure that name will suit a lot of heritage and go back far. I was just like, dang, tough. I don't mind, they, I don't mind give to them, believe you me. Not the people who can go work, people who are see vulnerable, who down. For they say they're hungry, give to them. Yeah, mate, yeah. I love you, know, and I respect you for that. Yeah, thank you so much. God yeah. bless you for that. God bless you, yeah. Yeah, love you. Yeah. Is there spoons yeah. and forks? Yeah, man, a spoon, a spoon. I'll give you a spoon as well. Awesome, okay, mate. Yeah, O'Neill, you're you a love. legend, mate. Yeah, love, yeah. yeah. Take it easy. Love, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, man.
folks, there again you can see the kindness from O'Neill. Um, I was pretty insistent there that I paid him for that, but I could tell he was trying to uh, possibly give me that to give away to that chap, because he's got a big passion for feeding people who are struggling. So let's go back, let's find Albert and give him his Jamaican lunch. Chicken in some kind of sauce and gravy, rice and vegetables. Has got to, uh, Brown stew chicken, rice and peas, and vegetables. <laughs> got to be the best lunch you can have today. Albert, yes, my friend. chicken and rice uh, and some vegetables, mate. Gentlemen. Yeah, and believe me, I've tried this food already. Thank you it so much. It is so tasty. So. Brilliant. Yeah. Ah, I look forward to it. I'm yeah, really the spoon was a pork right everything, now, so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so very you've, much. Uh, yeah, you've got a really positive oh, spirit, oh, oh. mate. You've got a really positive spirit and... Uh, smell it, you smell it from here. I've already eaten some, not oh. that one, I've already been tasting the things there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's, um, his name's O'Neill, he's in the middle of the lab. Oh, yeah, man, bro hungry. He getting right to it, mid calm oh, yeah, you? And oh. he, he's quite passionate about helping homeless people as well. So if you're ever I'm really struggling, I just yeah, spoke yeah. to him. Even if he gives you a small portion, yeah, you know, it's better than you going home. So, Albert, yeah. Albert, you're a legend, mate. Mate, no, best of luck with your project. And you, friend, mate, yeah. and you, yeah. Take it easy. And I hope you're... I'm sure within six weeks or so, you'll be yeah. you'll be settled in somewhere. My power's got my yeah. back. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've, got, you've got a fearing man. I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a relationship with God. Yeah, I speak to him every morning, and I say, "What can I do for you today?" Yeah. I don't ask him for nothing. Yeah, and everything just seems to fall into place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Albert, you're a good man. Give us a love, mate. Thank you, my yeah. man. You're a good man. Nice one. Take Wendell. it easy, my friend. Best, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go and meet some more people. Yeah, yeah. Come on, mate. Good guy. Zephaniah King. Zephaniah King. Yeah, man. I've been yeah. raised right now. Most people know me as Paul's, but yeah, I've been raised right now. But I'm on the I'm on the outskirts now, so I just pop okay. in. But you're from Brixton originally. I'm from Brixton. Show me your Brixton, man. Show me my. Brixton. Yeah, let's let's take a wander. Okay, let's go yeah. get a patty. Let's have a patty. Yeah. yeah, I've never eaten a Jamaican patty. No. I've been no. trying Jamaican food as I've been going around. Okay. Yeah. Now you got. Did he say a pint or a patty? A Jamaican patty. So oh, what drew you to me then? I was talking to you. Yeah, I saw you. Your mate, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, it's like all brothers out here, isn't it? That's how it feels. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't know him at all. Okay, yeah. Everyone yeah, just yeah. says hi. The, the vibe is yeah. amazing. That's what I'm saying. People were telling me before I came, like, oh, Brixton's a dangerous place. Like, there's gang beefs, there's things like that. Now, maybe there are. Man, I'm... Uh... It's like going here in the day and going in the night, obviously, are two different things. I ain't going to nobody hood at night time. I do not get <laughs> not without the, the, the not without somebody. You know what I'm saying? All right, we gotta go together, just out of respect to hood stuff and hood politics. I gotta go with somebody from there. You know what I'm saying? But walking down the road with my camera, everybody yeah. is just so they want to show me their There's what electric. they do. It's electric, electric avenue. <laughs> yeah, that's where we are right now. So this is, and you can correct me, you're a Brixton man. Yeah. This is Electric Avenue, very famous from the Eddie Grant song. Okay. Yeah, and in, in 1888, it was the first street light lit market in Britain. Okay. Yeah, in the whole of Britain. Cool. And it's still absolutely amazing. It is. It I don't know nothing about that. You just educated him. It is man. Everyone yeah. comes here to get a little little snapshot of the ends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What pack do you want? You whatever you have. Do you, do you still eat meat? Yeah, I eat meat, yeah. 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 It's hard to find a man that eats meat these days, isn't it? I don't eat meat. <laughs> no, don't you? No. no. I'll eat the meat for you. That's a patty. Yeah, that's a patty. Yeah, Endo. Chill. Okay. It's looks it looks like a Cornish pasty. Oh, that's true. What pie is your Don't taste like it, though. Does not taste like it. Get some, uh, get some, uh, get the bread with it, too. Get the back there. Have you got just that lamb? Make a little sandwich. Lamb. Yeah, you might like that. Okay. Chicken, veg. Oh, you got veg. He's got a veg. He wants a veg. Yeah. yeah. Veg. Which is, which is the best meat one, my love? What's the most popular? Lamb, huh? Beef. 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 Yeah. Give me beef. Beef. Next time you can get a bun and cheese. A bun and cheese? Next time you can get a bun and I've got a cheese. feeling I'm going to get fat being in Brixton. <laughs> Everyone's trying to feed me. Well, There's so the many beauty, nice things. Yeah, the, yeah, the veg Brixton amazing. Though, this is the beauty. Um, and we're here, you can get the exclusive herbs here as well. Like, if you're, like, just as I'm saying it, you know, like the Rust has always got their herb thing. Yeah. These things are 
Yo, Rasta, tell, tell, tell him how, why this is good, the herbs, proper thing. I'm showing the Jamaican community to YouTube, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, what do you sell here? We sell all natural health yeah. and wellness. Okay. Let your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food. Yeah. Always remember, just like the car you see on the road, and the bus, and the trucks, they have to do an MOT yeah. or a service before they are being driven on the road. Look at the clothes that you wear today. Yeah. And your brother's clothes. Yeah. All clean. Yeah. And nice. You see, inside must be paramount that inside is even cleaner than outside. Yeah. So Talk that is the message I want to spread to the community. Talk yeah. That you must cleanse, revitalize, re-energize the system using natural products. And you know what? It's crazy that he say that. Not to, not to. We, you know, we not going exactly verbatim, but like when I stopped eating a bunch of BS, I felt better. I felt better. Like I don't eat no. I don't eat out. I don't eat no fast food no more. Like if I'm out and I'm drunk, <laughs> all right, cool. But even at then, it ain't no McDonald's. It's probably like a pizza or a, a taco or something. Like, but I'm only eating chicken, fish, and and steak. And lamb and vegetables, like it's it's a it's a it's a different experience when your body is clean on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Because what go what comes from the inside goes to the outside. You know what I'm saying? So when you eating good, putting good stuff in your body, if you got bad skin, it's gonna clear up. You know what I'm saying? If you got bad vibes, even the vibes might change. You know what I'm saying? It's all it's all start somewhere. It start with God, let's clarify, but then like you got to put the right stuff in your body if you want to feel a certain way and look a certain way, man. It's as simple as that. I ain't telling you what to eat. I'm just telling you my experience. Products like iron plus. Yeah, we need iron. Yeah, right. so that's a mixture with iron in uh, lots of natural spices so and this herbs. This is CMAS, burdock, bladderwrack, sassy perilla root and beerbub and more. What you do, make a tea? So to build up all the iron for the defense system, the immune, immune system, depends on iron. And how and would you take that? Would you like mix it into a, into a drink? Very good question. And what we have, we have the power smoothies. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we have the CMOS gels. Okay. Uh, so this one is 92 trace yeah. minerals. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so what you do, is maybe get a little spoon of sea mass there, yeah. some blackberry, some blueberry, some strawberry in your blender in the mornings. <laughs> and there goes your. <laughs> My missus does that every morning and wakes me up. So once here is good, here is better. Thanks. Everything's connected. Thanks. Everything. Okay. You're a very smart young man. Well, not as smart as you, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rasta. Rasta for I give thanks and praise. Rasta always yeah. been telling them let your food be your medicine, and your, let medicine your medicine be your, be your food. food. I tell is vital. I tell this vital. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. There's a more familiar like races have come together here now. It's yeah. Not, it's not as black. Yeah. But, but when you think about it, it's so black anyway. It can't. Nothing. You know that can't ever change. He's getting the best parts, and this is what I like to see, man. Highlight the community. Highlight what's really going on on a day to day basis. It's a lot of content creators that just go and they they. Not naming nobody specific, but they only, and, and it's not even the UK, it's the American content creators. They go and they put a bunch of BS on it. And it's good to just see regular stuff. Change. Yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's still a really stuff. black area, but yeah. you think that it's not just Jamaicans now. Yeah. There's all sorts of. Well, it's good. The harmony is good, man. It's, it feels it. You know? Yeah. Obviously, like, you know, I, I think in life, you know, if you look for trouble, you'll get trouble. You yeah. know what I mean? If you want to surround yourself with wrong uns, yes. you'll get wrong things happening to you. But exactly. if you want to look for positivity in Brixton, it is here. Exactly. In bucketfuls. Yo, 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 yo. Long time. 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 Yeah. Smooth it to you. I hear it. Yeah, with the best. Love, man, love. Trying to get the smooth it to you. I hear it. Yeah, with the best. Those black Air Force ones. Love, man, love. So you're trying to push your music to us? Yeah, I'm just trying to do my music. I know her from primary school. So we, you know when you bump into them people, but that's just my focus. Just trying to get my music, get my album. So, so what's your socials for people to check um, it out? 
Blue Giant, Blue Dot Giant, no E, B L U dot Giant. Okay, and that's all on Instagram? Yeah, and, I'll and put it on the screen. Yeah, love, man, love. It's all kicking off. So, do you uh, do you make a habit of giving YouTube tours to no. unsuspecting vloggers just walking around no, Brixton? Well, I'm an entertainer, so it's in me. Yeah, yeah, I, I can love, see straight away. Yeah, like, I love music, I love like. Working in the theatre, drama. Just creativity. Yeah, anything yeah. creative, man, I'm on it. So this is ideal, because my friend's having an interview and i got some time to spare, so the drinks are on him. It was meant to be. And I'm rolling. And we're going to read these patties. Let's go, and, should we go and And this got 500,000 views too, so. It's on the wall here. Sure thing. Yeah. I'll tell you a bit more about this summer light here, man. So this is summer lightness day and-, and This is the strip. Uh, yeah, but some people have told me that it looks like a prison, they used to call it a prison. Oh man, it's yeah. pretty brutalist structure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I guess it was built what in the seventies or something. Well, funny like... enough, when you, once you're around here a bit, you get used to it, man. Oh my god, <laughs> no! This look like a federal prison. This look like a prison for real. I thought they was like BSing, like, oh man, it's just like the vibe. No, no, it's the look. Jeez. You know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, you get used to any environment. Yeah. <laughs> let's sit, let's sit and. Oh man, they have a powwow outside this month. Try these. Hold on, cause I need to. I need, hold on, cause I need to get his reaction to the uh, this patty, and it's cooled down too. It's not blazing hot. Most patties be blazing hot, <laughs> but like he let it. He walk for a little bit, let it cool down. So it should be just at that. It should be. This patty should be in a pocket of greatness right now. You understand what I'm saying? Hold on. I am gasping for a drink. Is that one mine? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Which so how are we going to know though? which one's beef and which one's veggie? They're oh, marked. Like that. That's true. You're going to end up with a mouth full of beef. She must have marked it, surely. Window was wild, though. We just break a bit. Break right, fruit punch. Yeah. I think we ended up with a mass-produced processed one. True juice, <laughs> premium quality. Yeah, exactly. There's only one. There's only that one. That fruit piece punch or what? Ah, that's good. So this is basically a Jamaican Cornish pasta, <laughs> in in my mind. It's I not. Guess so. It doesn't it is, taste it? orange, thin, flaky pastry. That tastes that's like good winter. seasoning. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh yeah, it might be peppery. It's spicy. I haven't got into the meat yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Wow. That's really good. It's like really thin shredded beef. It's like a roast dinner from Jamaica <laughs> in a pasta. Okay. <laughs> and it is peppery, I've just got a kick. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Wait. I ain't gonna lie, his description was crazy just now. Is that how y'all be looking at me on TikTok when I be describing British food? Remember, follow me on TikTok, the lit one. It's always be a pepper. Right, you'll know what you're talking about. Right, the veggie patty. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, man, can't go wrong. They're amazing. I could eat like three of these. Yeah, the first thing I said I to my friend, I'm going to go get a patty. Mm. That's just how it is. Right, this is the strip. Yeah, I got to You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Here too. Matter of fact, I need to make a video tomorrow. Or so. This is where any cracker can come from any part of the country and get some crap. It doesn't look like it now, though. No, the police done their thing. The police okay. took it. <laughs> sorted it out. Yeah, the police sorted it out eventually. It took their time, but. So when was it like that? When I was younger, no, just over ten years ago. But yeah, when I'm like in my area a bit, that's a bit. That's like off the ends a bit. If I'm just bubbling at the bus stop or bubbling on the road, people look at you like, but when you come to Brixton, just that vibe is just a natural thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So me coming back today to the ends, it's just like, yeah, man, it feels like this, this is my people, this is my home. You, you know? can be yourself. Yeah, you can express what, what you are. This is why I be trying to tell people, people never understand me when I tell them, like, I, I like to live very close to the hood still. Like, I like to still live in arm's reach. Because it's a thing of comfort. You know what I'm saying? It's just comfortability. Don't forget, I do like my little nice apartments and high-rises and things of that nature. But if it's, 
still need the like the vibes. You know what I'm saying? It's more about the vibes to me. You are and what you're proud of. Yeah, and you can expect the unexpected. There's always something here and there, but it's like it's what it is. Instead of being like constructed to just walk in straight. Yeah. You know, in this matrix, everyone's kind of everyone's kind of breaking out the made the mold. You know, we're just doing what we want. You yeah. know, but um, but it's a lot of love. It's a lot of love here, man. And it really just, it's a good reminder and it's good to meet you because you get to, um, I don't know, it's just... I just thought today, like with everything in the news in the last week, I thought, let's go into like a diverse community mm. and just show how everyone gets along mm. rather than everyone disagrees. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like within an hour, Brixton show me I think Quicker, everyone just needs it? a good conversation. Yeah. And everyone will just chill out. Yeah. I think that I think the government needs to have some rules in place where young people are a bit more scared of the consequences because I think we do need some rules and order. There wouldn't be as much crime on the streets and things like that you know if what? the consequences were harsher. But I don't mean that every one hundred percent, man, one hundred percent. I was just watching police interceptors, police interceptors, and brother, let me tell you, the UK UK justice judicial system. It's kind of like a joke, a little bit. Nobody's taking that serious. Well, my man's robbed. He robbed a car. Took the police on a full-blown police chase. I think he had class A's on him, and bro got six months suspended sentence. What's so cool? Like, I mean, salute, salute to the man, dim. You know, but day. Everyone can't. In America, you're getting three, four years get along that's a good that's a that's a that's understanding why you Two, were saying that, but it's not about the fear you know what it's about is education we need moral standards yeah that's all it is our fathers and the education system needs to teach us standards why we why we wouldn't do this you know yeah sometimes we have them in grade but sometimes we don't and everyone needs to the new call needs to be more anybody coming from the hood that was on benefits in america i'm gonna just say benefits because y'all gonna understand what i'm saying one of the requirements was the father could not be in the home so that was what the government was pushing. Uh, with that being said, a lot of the fathers were not in homes with their kids because either because they stepped away because the mom could get more money to take care of the kid and they was on some from afar type stuff. And, you know, space brings opportunity. And in a relationship, that's crazy. Uh, but you know, it was, it was almost promoted. Single mothers was promoted in the hood in America. So, you know, this is the outcome all these years later, no fathers, no morals imprinted on the brain and it get rough out here, <laughs> you know, We're really strong yeah. to be a man. Be a Sometimes we don't and everyone needs to, the new call needs to be morally strong like, yeah. to be a man, be a gentleman. Yeah. Like we're, we're both males sitting here to be a strong man. Like sometimes i feel as well that like these days it's not cool to be a strong man yeah and i think we need we, we need strong men in our societies you know because they are also promoted with all of these podcasts that be going on in america like you, you like you really get to see like like what people expect and but like when it's a podcast with a strong male figure on there that thinks for himself and has traditional values that's just not <laughs> what women really be wanting not all the time but it it it, it don't oh you this you that you this you massaging it no that ain't even it you know i just got traditional values and i got traditional morals and i move traditionally not me specifically but like that's you know that's what be out there man I'm, the point is yeah it's it's really not promoted in 2024 for strong for strong men like Help to raise families and children and go to work and provide and yeah. That's where we need leaders, isn't it? Yeah. And that's where my music comes in hand because <laughs> W promo again. Boy putting it out there. I ain't, I don't blame him. When I do my music, I'm not gonna be talking rubbish, gangster. So what style of music you? I'm I'm I want you to dance man. I'm trying to I do a lot of Afro beats. Okay. I want you to dance. I wanna talk about love, I wanna talk about females. I know like dance hall. Yeah, um, like vibes cartel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big fan of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's dance all mixed with Afro beats, with African music. I mean, yeah, and they've yeah. called it Afro beats now. And they got something called UK Afro beats. Okay. That's been going off. So I've been 
planting my seeds in there. But I still rap as well and just do some rap songs here and there. But I never go too gangster. I, I love. I love a man that can find the balance, so I'm trying to be that man that can just find the balance through music. Should we have a look? I feel like I got a good balance, man. You ask anybody on the internet, I'm the farthest thing from gangster. <laughs> and, and good, that's exactly the image of, that, of me that I want to be portrayed on the internet. But I know some people are overly tough on the keyboard and they get to, oh, you ain't, which is fine. I don't, give a, I don't care. <laughs> I be going through real life stuff, man. I didn't been through some things, so it's just like somebody on the internet keyboard warrior and can't bother me. <laughs> can't bother me because I know that's not really gangster. Anyway, anyway, that's besides the point. The image that I have portrayed on here is what what that's that's good. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the right balance is. You know what I'm saying? I still got a lot of stuff in me where I gotta it be it be coming to the forefront in certain situations and I be having to chill. <laughs> Cause I sometimes I still be wanting to flash out, but I'll be like, you know, I'm grown now with a daughter, so I'll be really having to think stuff over. You know what I'm saying? And that's when finding the balance is, you know what I'm saying? I'm I could be gangster doing a lot of stuff. I can keep it gangster and educate my daughter on anything she bring home to school. I can keep it gangster and keep some money in my pocket by having a real job and having and being self motivated and, and 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 having something to pass on to my children when I when they grow up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can keep it gangster in other ways nowadays. You know. But anywho, a little bit of a look around the estate. A lot of people won't understand what I'm saying. But... Yeah, man. I'd like to. Yeah. So this is the this is infamous summer in the like, estate. Yeah. This is where we hung out up at the stairs at night. How was it when you used to hang out here? Was it a safe place or does it depend on who you know? Oh my days. Yeah, everything's can be up and down, man. Yeah. Jeez, your own friends can try and start it, you know. With you? Yeah, your own friends could try and start mm -hmm. it. That's the back door special. And everyone, everyone tests you. This is the problem why I'm always by myself. Because everyone tests your character and kind of pushes your buttons here and there. Yeah. Everyone's ego wants to, someone wants to always be the bigger person. Yeah. Especially with males, mate. Yeah, the like, male ego, especially in like, young men. We're like lions all together, and or dogs all together, and someone's trying to prove themselves. So it's kind of hard being around people that don't have that real, real, real low, you know. So I, I stick yeah. to myself. You might not think it, but I'm, I'm quite interested in the um, brutalist architecture as well. Oh yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. That's what, when I saw that, I thought you might want to see that. Yeah, like 70s, 80s, this stuff was built. Um, some people say these things are incredibly ugly and I mean they are on the face of it but there's world. like yeah there's like um the design is a bit different they're just to... I mean these look great well who who do we see these with black man the traveler and and um backpacker Ben they they're iconic aren't yeah. they I think that's they're the word here? yeah they become iconic because of the people that's that had to live through it the outside windows look crazier than the indoor on, on the inside if you like, if, I'm not gonna lie. If you come to America, like this, honestly, look like a. The only thing that give it away is the windows, how they open. These windows is an afterthought. Like I'm gonna put these windows in just so they got window type energy, but like other than that, it kind of look like there's some stuff that I see in a good neighborhood. Big balconies. You know what I'm saying? If I show y'all some Chicago buildings, y'all gonna be like, oh, I see what he was talking about. Really? Yeah. I can imagine in the 80s and 90s, mate, that like me walking around with this camera in, in this area from the stories I've heard, it might not have been so comfortable. Oh, yeah. but you know what? It just depends on the day of the week. <laughs> yeah. It depends on the day of the week and what fools, what fools are hanging around. Yeah, whether right. they want to try something. To be fair, you know, because really I feel like it's always been like this. Because I've been here since a kid, I feel like it's always been like this, and it just depends on what day of the week it is, who's out, who wants to cause trouble. Yeah. You know, a lot of things have happened. I've, I've seen a guy called Bowser, I see his name up in there. Yeah, who's Bowser? Bowser's like, just been here for long. Nathan Foster, I've been here since a kid. Yeah. Well respected. Um, someone we knew that went to my school. That's a lit nickname, Bowser. I'm um, shot him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, something silly, something about something silly. But yeah.
Hold on, y'all moving too fast. What's going on back here? Yeah, that's the kind of things you end up kind of growing up to witness. And you mentioned that because this is his tagging here. Yeah, man, Bowser. These are they're all bridging, so I think they're still writing their names and stuff. So he, so he got shot, but yeah. did he survive that? No, no, Bowser died. Passed away. He passed away. So, so someone's wrote that in his honour? Yeah, someone's just wrote his name. He's yeah. probably got his, we'll probably check out his picture soon. I know sure. what that is. They, they've done a whole picture of him. Mural. What's life like in Brixton yeah. these days? Yeah. Well, life is all right, you know. Life is all right. Once you got life, you have everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you know, no, no one then little things happen, but... You know? Yeah. We still kind of keep keep it going, you know what I mean? You know, we've got like barbecues and stuff that to get everyone involved and you know, it's always vibes in Brixton, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not always violent as people, nah. you know? I mean, but if it comes, you know what I mean? D-Blocks music, man, and IG, man, you know what I mean? D-Blocks music, so you know, D-B-L-A-C-K-Z, Realist, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sweet. one D-Blocks. You know you're getting old, can't help. Legend, Alton Real. Junior. Yeah, yeah, my Brixton is always Brixton, you know, nothing has changed. So stop watch skin color. Yeah. Chew away that long time. Yeah. Because them talk every day about racism, but the, the action is still there, fam. Them not know for love, them need for free up, get up out of themselves, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You get me? Tell yeah. them for come start mingle some more, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. start yeah. mingle, come you know we. Tell them so they need to come know us, bro. <laughs> they need to come know us, because we are yeah. free people and we Absolutely. love them and like a them. Yes, bro, you got to finish. You got to blow that out before you get to talking. So, so I'll tell you why I came here today. Yeah. Because for so much negative shit yeah. in the news for last week. Yeah. For last week in Britain about, yeah. you know, all these, all these uprisings. Yeah. I so thought I'm going to come into a diverse yeah. multicultural so, community and show everyone Ever yeah, vibes and everyone gets along? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely. Everyone yeah, gets along. Let's come to Brixton, yeah. come have a nice time. No worries, no problem. Everyone is on. You know who I thought this was at first? When they first showed him, I was like, what unknown T doing outside? What are he doing in Brixton? Everyone yeah. is equal. I've had yeah. an amazing welcome, mate. Yeah, man, Brixton is up. Brixton is always, always. Yeah. Brixton yeah. is always. Yeah. Brixton is always Brixton. Yeah. Brixton never gonna change. Like you who come and who go. You understand me? Just come and enjoy yourself and mingle with the people there. Anyway, I mean, and no Brixton. Yeah, Don't be scared. Because Brixton now they're not. Yeah. No one not gonna do nothing in Brixton. We all want to win it. Embrace the vibes. Yeah man. He's gonna do a freestyle. Yeah. yeah. Big beast that are skate on the tool. Bang of them stay up on the line that are code. Find four four Kelly but that a coat, hey. Look at Dali not the beast with me. Say she feel chilly, that means she a freeze. And the AC, I'm a chain it a do it. Colona kick go call a referee. Love the pretty girl, the mama Bobby Dali. Punch up a sitting like mommy Dali. Me love squeeze up a breast and slap up a watty. Yeah, see me me love grab up the matic. Love the pretty girl, the mama Bobby Dali. So there you go for I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I seen somebody freestyle on, on, on a UK vlog and it'd be decent it was actually good normally it'd be just catastrophically bad but that was decent folks people told me if you come into the summer late in the state it'll be dangerous for people to snatch my camera off me bump into all the chaps there so i couldn't have had a warmer welcome it's all lies folks fake What's news right do you know what happened here um i think got killed in the chicken in one of the chicken shops do you know what happened with this yeah, that's my brother, man. Yeah. Smooth. When did he pass away? Last year, October the 3rd. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just over there? I heard he went Just in, over there. He went in the, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went, in the he went in the shop or something? Nah. Just outside, isn't it? Can't speak too much on it. Stay vague. That's why he got the shiesty, huh? You got the soup kitchen here? Yes, yes. And yes. you're providing for the community? Yes, yeah. so um, we've been running for 11 years now. Um, I come from this estate here, so this is what we call Samalayam. And just going up on that estate, I saw a lot of people who were struggling. You know, you know, you know the, um, the days of when people used to say, oh, go down next door and then ask them for sugar. Go, go to the down the road and ask them for rice. 
you know, it was like a community, but then at the same time, it was poverty. Do you know what I mean? And so, so what I've decided to do is I wanted to have a centre where people can come in, get hot meals, get a food pack. Um, we don't care about race, religion, postcode. Anyone can come in. You don't care if they're homeless or just struggling? You don't care. We like with a roof to, rather yeah. than without a roof? Yeah. yeah, so we just want you just to come in, know that we're here, we're open seven days a week, no questions asked, we yeah. just get support. Yeah. Are you a registered charity, are you as well? And yeah, all that? I can imagine. Charity it. Now, yeah. yeah, can I just ca ca grab all this and then I won't have to ask you about it? Bristol Soup Kitchen. You take donations and all that? Yeah, yeah. so donations, that's how we've been, that's how we survive. Um, even though we are a registered charity, it doesn't mean that you get, you know, money left, right, and center. It literally don't work like that. So we just kind of rely on donations, a lot of the people. They come, they might come in with shopping, they might come in with you know, with, with like money donations and like once money donations come in, we have to be very strategic on how we spend it because we don't know when we'll be blessed to have money donations come yeah, in. Yeah, you can't just frivolously no, blow it on. No, 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 no. So we have to literally, you know, think very hard on where we're going and a lot of stuff goes miscellaneous. So even if it's like insurance and public liability, you know, that eats a massive chunk of our yeah. donations. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But what we obviously need that to keep Keep the roof over, to keep the roof over our heads. So what? So what's Brixton like these days? A lot of people before I came, they said I should be careful. Like you know, summer late in the state, yeah. it's got a history of like gang violence, yeah. things like that. Yeah. But I've been met with a really warm welcome, and yeah, I'm just walking yeah, around, yeah. no plans to meet anyone today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how would you sum it up, 2024? Just like what you said, Brixton has always had a stigma over it, and as much as actually somebody comes in like yourself and you go, oh. It's not that bad. I'll say the opposite, just yeah. to interject. Yeah. I'll say that of all the places I've been mm. in Britain, yeah. it is the most open, yeah. like mm. buzzing. Like people mm. are happy to speak in front of the camera, yeah, tell yeah. the story, they want to show off their yeah, identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and me living, always lived in Brixton, lived in Summer Layton, we would always. A lot of proud people, proud where they come from, proud of the community vibes, man. Tear the news. Remember, a lot of gangs are created by the news. When we hear the news saying, guys, Brixton is a no-go area, we're just like, guys, let's just make it a no-go area. They've said it's a no-go area. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like oh, fulfill the stereotype. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, man, the news will do that. The news be creating stuff and the people just be running with it. Um, white people can't come down, like white ladies can't come down with their handbags. We're like, None of these guys has ever robbed a lady with their handbag. No. But do you know what? Let's go and rob a white lady with her handbag. Yeah. That is exactly what yeah. they've done. If, if the media portrays, you know, that person yeah. as, as a piece of shit, then they're going to start acting like this a piece of shit. A piece, self a piece of shit then. self yeah. for the prophecy. But as you said, it's amazing, man. I, I, the community. It's awesome. Vibrant. People are just happy. You know what I mean? Like, we are obviously living in, like, you know, poverty times. But then at the same time, it's about what, what could we do to get out of the situation and help other, help, and also to help others get out of the situation. Yeah. Do you think, like, the legacy of, like, the, the riots in 81, mm. do you think that that's, like, stigmatised Brixton in the eyes mm. of generations of British people? I think there might be a bit of that going on as well. No, 100%, because, you know, because mainly because of the riots, well, you know, was because of the sus law. If they believe yeah. that you know that you was carrying something, you could just get arrested. They didn't need a reason, did they? With they the didn't sus need law. no reason. Me, me and you could walk down the road now, and unfortunately, back then, it yeah. was me and you walking down the yeah. road. The police okay, then it, were getting you. Yeah, yeah. 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 But these days, like, mm. Bristol's got so much to offer. Most, it's got so much to offer. Most of the places do not have the sense of community, mm -hmm. the sense of pride in their yeah. identity, yeah. Yeah. and it's yeah. just, it's just. It's been yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's been an awesome surprise. Nah, I'm you know, so glad. I'm people so warning glad me, I've got that, yeah. no idea what to yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so glad he was able to capture that, man. We're open Monday to Friday, um, from eleven to three o'clock. Um, anyone can come in for a hot meal. They can come for a food pack. They can come for clothes. Anyone can shoes, walk in. You won't. Anyone. Judge. Yeah. Anyone. Anyone. You know, we don't be like, oh my god, sir, could you prove that you're homeless? How could you prove that you're homeless? You can't. Do you know what I mean? So um, we also work with a local um, community centres where, where we can get people showers, 
um, we work with Lush, so they do like a lot of the soaps and yeah. shampoos. A lot of people forget out. that like people are struggling. Yeah. Like they, don't, they think about food and they think about things, but they don't think about sanitary products. Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine being a female and being homeless. Yeah. It's 10 times harder. Well, I left home when I was 16. Never so, even thought of it like that, but yeah, that is tough. I used to just come here by myself after that. Well, I used to still make my way down here, but I used to live in hostels and things like that. Okay, yeah. So did you, like by saying you lived in hostels and stuff, like did you have a bit of a rough time? Uh, probably, but you don't see it as that when you're going through it, innit? You just ride it. Yeah, describe a hostel for those that wouldn't really understand. Um, just temp temporary accommodation. Yep. I was in temporary accommodation for three years and then I got permanent accommodation, I got my flat. And then, yeah, I was just blessed to have a, like a social housing flat because it's a bit cheaper. Yep. But the three years of living in a hostel from our 16, that's when anything could have happened. Yeah. That's when I was like out here, yeah, to make some money. And you stuff were like, and yeah, and then that. you were vulnerable. Like if you'd have met the wrong people at the wrong time, been yeah. in the wrong frame of mind, <coughs> needed money a little bit too much, maybe. Didn't and really, that, yeah, didn't really know what drugs was and yeah. getting involved in that, and then gang life got involved and people were robbing each other and doing all sorts, and like that's when it just like yo, I had to get out. Yeah. That's when I had to just refrain from being around anyone or anything because. Yeah. I was going to get too dangerous. It wasn't yeah. really everyone else, but I was going to get too dangerous. And yeah. I realised that's that's not the person I want to be. Yeah. This is Bowser right here. Okay. Yeah, so obviously he was very significant in the community. Yeah, you I'm tell me a little bit about him as we get to his mural. Did they do a... Did Nimes do the video? Like a... Like a movie over here? You know what? <laughs> I got a story about Bowser. When I first saw Bowser, we was in a bouncy castle, you know what I mean? And we had a little argument on the bouncy castle. Um, that's how long ago man's known about Bowser. But he weren't my brethren like that, like that. He, but he was like fat boys, brethren, type, they're like family. But yeah, Bowser's a G man, little rebel. Like people know him, man. So when he passed away, it was it was like a part of Brixton was was gone, part of Summer Layton, you know. Was he a bit of a patriarch in the community? Yeah, man. And he was a good guy as well. He used to, you found out he was in newspapers and stuff when he died. And um, he used to be really good at horse riding and part of the community and, you know. But yeah, he's a loved guy, man. And it's just, it's just mind blowing because the, the person that done it went to my school. You know what I'm saying? I was in the same class as him and stuff like that. And he was a good kid as well. Like, he was really good. He was probably more good than Bowser, like, you know what I'm saying? But anyone could, when, when, you're, when you're a certain age, anyone could grab a gun. Anyone could do anything. Any argument can pop off. So it was just unpredictable, man. But yeah, he'd be well remembered. Anybody could get to proving a point and do whatever they want. But man, Nathan Foster. Not anyone could, not anyone could get a thing like this when, if they died, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's so easy for me to say what I think about the area. I didn't grow up here, you know. I haven't lost friends yeah. to violence like you spoke about. So I just want to make, you know, I want to make you aware that like, I, I don't understand what it's like to grow up in Brixton and around all that. Yeah. But I, I grew up in an area that like, didn't have a sense of identity like Brixton does. Oh, okay. And that part of life in Brixton. I'm quite envious of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you've got that vibe, you've got that culture. There's a lot of soul here, man. Yeah. Let's quickly tell us a little bit about business in Brixton these days. Business, well, I can only speak on behalf of myself, to yeah. be honest. Of course. Um, I've got a salon called Elevate Salon. Um, I've been running this for about maybe 10, 11 years now. Um, yeah, we are striving to be one of the number one diverse salons in the UK. When I say diverse, is in like uh, all textures. Yeah. Uh, European, Asian, curly, African. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. And that's a lot of personalities working in one, one salon. But if that's what you're striving for, salute. Throw straight, whatever texture we can handle it. Yeah, yeah. Um, what yeah, anyone from all four corners of the world can come it, in. It doesn't you matter. You can deal with what's growing out of their scalp. As long as they got hair, I could deal with it. What's real is that he's a man, and he's doing oh, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, he, and he's still a man. Yeah, yeah. That's what's real. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Cause yeah. not, not every man would get me yeah, yeah, would to do that. Thank you for coming to Brixton, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for showing me around. Yeah. For real, man. And we're going to push your release. 
8th of August. 8th of August. The Fnatic King. That's three days. Yeah, I know. I've got to get this video out quick, haven't I? <laughs> if I haven't got this video out by the 8th of August, then it's already out, so check out. Zephaniah King, man, you know what I'm about to bring. I've got a single, what's the single called again? Single's called Monday. And it's like, totally new beginnings for me, but but I does this professionally, like, you know, rapper, singer. A good dude, man. He did a good job showing him around. He needs to pick up a camera and rap. <laughs> but pick up a camera and do this yourself. Does this, man. And your guy's getting the exclusive, you know? Yeah. I appreciate it, man. So, let's close. What would you, how would you like to sum up Brixton this summer 2024? How would you like to tell people on YouTube what well, it's about? It's about accepting one another. It's about love. It's about togetherness, man. And it's about um, breaking the mold, not just being stuck and being straight, but just being out there, being environment. And of course, it's about jam rock, Jamaica. Yeah. This, this is where this is where it is. This is That's where the is. origins of all this energy. For sure. Comes from the Jamaican community. For sure. Yeah. yeah, you can feel it. I can't. I'm not there, but I feel it. <laughs> like it was really peace, love, and, and and vibes. That's when you realize how special Jamaica is, and why. Yeah. And why? Why Hussein Bolt? Hussein Bolt. Do you know what I mean? Why? Yeah. Have, why there's a special inklings in in Jamaicans, man? But but yeah, you have to come in for yourself and check it out. Mm -mm, don't do me. Uh, I don't know what that copyright hit. That's look good though. God, hey. From Pre Try that. What weather for an hour? Some rice and peas. Rice and peas, yeah. That's um, upstairs. Oh wow, I'm definitely having some of that. Try that. Uh, you can miss me with the acting and selfish. I, maybe I had, I ain't had nothing good in a minute, but the last couple I've tried, trash. What weather for an outdoor food review from Prentice and Dion's amazing Jamaican food stand, marking Jamaican Independence Day over there. But I've retired over to the other side of the park to try and get away from uh, the Jamaican music because man don't want a copyright strike right mm, let's okay. try these amazing things that we joined them for yesterday impromptu meet up when they were shopping so here we oh my god they didn't get they didn't got you right the acting and softness do look good though low key yeah it look good maybe I gotta go to the UK and get it right got the oxtail in this gravy we've got the salt fish and ackee I think I've got that right, or swordfish, saltfish I think, saltfish. and then we've got the curry goat. Now none of these things I've ever tried in my life before, so that's why I didn't have the jerk chicken, because that's a white man's choice for a Jamaican meal. Told you. What I say earlier, I said don't get no curry chicken man, anybody, <laughs> get goat. Told you. Let's start off with a curry goat. Oh that is tender. I expected goat to be tough, you know like a tough meat. It's really tender, nice mod. Cooked a long time. Drew spice. Amazing. Right, let's try this salt fish and ackee. You might not like this, but try it anyway. Which is something I've never had anything like before, I'd imagine. Super fishy. Okay. Now That's what I'm saying. I'm really looking forward to this oxtail. Please eat that with your hand, Window. Put that fork down. Grab that mug like a fidget spinner. <laughs> like a little fidget. Y'all remember the fidget spinners that you used to spin like this? Grab it like that. And you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Because I like beefy things. I've never had oxtail before. Let's get some of that. It's gonna be one Jamaican of Jamaican rice in there. Looks tender. Oh, the flavors in this Jamaican food is so flavorful. Or none, buddy. I've got to get myself. Wendell, if you happen to watch this, please don't ever eat uh, oxtail with a fork and knife again. Just pick it up like a fidget and. You do your thing. On holiday to Jamaica. It's so good. You must you must think the British food's so boring. You're here <laughs> Monday to Friday normally. Monday to Friday. Thank you so much. I'll send everyone to come eat it. Wonderful Jamaican food, wonderful hospitality. Dion and Prentice's Jamaican kitchen here in the park in Waterloo. I'll put a link. 
Waterloo up in the park. Okay, gotta make sure when I go, I hit that. In the description, where you can come that. and check that amazing, very, very soul. This is a very good documentary from Window. This is a very great vibe. He's full flavor. He's acquired during this one. Jamaican fodder. Smoke. Okay, sweet. All right. Up. Brixton is looking like a place I might live. <laughs> I like Brixton, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.